Yeah, what's going on YouTube? This is five tips for Tarkov for new players. Hopefully these help you a lot. I'm going to be building out a few more videos like this. So if any of these five tips help you at all, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because we're going to be pumping these out over the next month. Apart from that, not to waste any time, let's jump into the first tip. All right, so we've got Sniper Scav here at Checkpoint, which is a fairly common Sniper Scav to give a lot of new players some issues. I just wanted to show the case the difference between a left hand and a right hand peek. So if we left hand peek this Scav just here, He's still going to crack at us, just like he did. But if we get onto the right hand side here, and we do a Alt D, you can see that we can get all the way out here, take a clean shot and not get shot at at all. It's extremely powerful and it's something that a lot of new players don't utilize enough, is right hand peeking on scabs, and it can get themselves into a lot of trouble. Tip number two is learning player spawns. It can be one of the most demoralizing things for a new player to load into a map and then get shot within the first couple of minutes because they've run into another PMC. If you go to a website like Map Genie here and say we go to customs, on the left hand side here there's a preset if you scroll down that just says extracts and PMC spawns. So this is really good to learn not only your extracts but where other PMCs could spawn. For example, if I spawned over here at the rocks, I would immediately look to clear the spawn of passage between rocks and the one underneath the aerial here. That would make me pretty much understand that I have access to this entire area and the only other kind of people that will walk in there off the start are going to be people that spawn over here in the industrial area and come through the break in the wall. But most people will head kind of towards Reshi's Palace over here from that area. So by understanding what your closest spawns are, when you spawn in that area, you know there's going to be an immediate threat up the hill towards Passages and Rock, and there could be an immediate threat just in here at the industrial as well. And that'll help you understand how you should navigate to where you have to go for your quests, or whether you have to kill scavs, PMCs, etc. You might be able to push some of this. It just all depends, but that's probably one of the main things that new players should learn is obviously where other PMCs can spawn in relation to where you spawn, so that way you can really not down where the other players will be early raid and either avoid them or go and hunt them down. Now obviously Map Genie has a few maps here that are locked um, under the pro version. You can just go to the Escape from Tarkov wiki here and go to the map of Tarkov on a basics, pick a map just like say Lighthouse and if you scroll all the way down the bottom here what you're going to have is community made maps that'll show you those exact same things with the PMC spawns and you'll be able to learn exactly where people spawn, get a more comfortable idea of where people are going to be early raid and that's going to help you navigate through your raids to get the extract. Tip number three is one that's very daunting for new players and it's understanding the health system. Obviously there's a lot of different types of meds in Tarkov and the health system itself is quite complicated but I'm going to be quick and break it down as easily as I can for you right now. If you get shot in raid, the first thing you want to do is obviously stop your bleeds. Now if you have time and you're not in combat and you have time to use things like bandages, calox and S marches, they are the go-to to stop bleeds and the reason because for that is because if you try to use a cellar, for example, to stop your bleed, it's going to use 175 if it's a heavy bleed of that 400 durability just to stop the bleed, and then the rest you're going to be able to use for healing. Now, in the cases of like IFAX, for example, 210 of the 300 durability would be utilized just to stop the heavy bleed. So you'd only have 90 left of the IFAC to actually do the healing. So it's very important that if you have time or in combat or out of combat to utilize bandages, calyps or S marches, they are the go-to to stop bleeds. And then the first things you wanna actually heal with your meds are your thorax and your head. They're the only two things on your body that if you cop a bullet and say you're on 10 thorax HP here and you cop the bullet to your armor and, and chest, if that gets blacked out from that bullet, you're immediately dead and back at the lobby. Whereas if you get shot in a blacked arm or a blacked leg, that damage will disperse across the rest of the limbs that are still available, but it won't kill you. The only two things you can die by are your thorax and your head. So as soon as you stop your bleed, the first things you want to do are heal your thorax, your head, then use your CMS to patch on any of your limbs like Mr. Potato Head, and then you want to heal them after. So they're the most important that's the most important aspect in my opinion to learning how to survive in raids better is in mid combat the first thing that you should be healing are you know, your thorax and your head and then everything else now the second thing is watch out when you're using things like painkillers 
to say negate the effect of a black leg etc because if your health and energy are low then you take a painkiller it's going to knock another 19 hydration off that and if you've only got say 15 hydration left in your actual pmc during the raid and you kick that out then all of a sudden you're going to be taking damage across all of your limbs instead of just that black leg if you're you know trying to walk slowly to the extract so it's a big thing to weigh up but obviously there's different types of painkillers this is obviously the bottom of the rung in regards to painkillers this here being the golden bar is what every high high level player keeps up their ass and the reason for that is because yes it takes 19 energy away but it actually gives a little bit of um energy and hydration recovery back and it lasts 350 seconds whereas a painkiller only lasts 80 seconds so take into account what you've got if you've got any high value stuff like uh golden stars keep them up your crack and most importantly as soon as you stop those bleeds heal your thorax then your head it'll get you through a lot more fights and help you survive raids better tip number four is what to hold on to and what to sell so as you can see you start to gather a fair bit of stuff as you kind of go through raids and a lot of new players aren't really sure what they should hold on to what to what to sell and a really helpful tip is if you go to the escape from cycle wiki here and you go down to the quest items under system you're going to have all of your traders here you're going to be able to click through and obviously follow their quest line along find out where to where to find things how to do quests but just above here a lot of people miss the fact that there's a lot of really good images and guides here this one is in particular is really good for the questing it'll show you every single trader and in chronological order what you need to hold on to for what quests are coming up and then that way you know exactly what you should be holding on to how many of them and That'll really help new players in regards to what they need to hold on to. And also you're able to do things like understand what you need for the Kappa container as well. So they're really, really important images. I really recommend having a look at here. This, this web, uh, website here is going to be linked down in the description below. Make sure you check it out. It's going to help you a lot. Tip number five is ergonomics. Now, one of the things a lot of players don't understand is it's not just the gun that affects how you turn and what your aiming speed is like. You might feel like you've actually got a really good grasp, you've adjusted your sensitivity, you've gone into a raid, you've clicked some heads, all of a sudden you've killed a couple of PMCs, they've got better gear than you, you come out of the raid, put their gear on, you go into the next raid, and all of a sudden it feels like you're swinging a cat across the screen then you can't really shoot anything and shooting from shoulder to shoulder all of a sudden it feels so much different you can't understand what's changed from the last raid and it's most likely because they've got better armor but that also impacts the ergonomics so as you can see here we've got two basic bitch armors that a lot of new players run in regards to the packer and the 6v23 now a packer itself has a very minimal impact on your ergonomics and your turning speed but something like the 6v23 as you step yourself up up in armor class it's going to have a larger impact on your ergonomics and also your turning speed so not only that the helmets themselves can have a big impact so for example the penis helmet here is one of the fan favorites to run early wipe because of its high ricochet chance unfortunately it also comes with a massive minus ergonomic and turning speed with something like the 6b47 that you can pick up for 33 grand at prap or level one also has a high ricochet chance and doesn't have as much impact in regards to your turning speed so that's something that you really got to take into account is the fact that it's not just your gun that impacts the ergonomics and how you're moving in raid but also your armor so the biggest advice i can give for new players is buy three to five armor sets of exactly the same armor and uh, helmet the actual rigs themselves in regards to what you're taking out here to put your bags and stuff in don't have any impact unless it is an armored rig in which case it does have a negative impact as well so buy three to five sets of the exact same armor try to run the exact same gun and you're gonna have a lot more success in feeling that the sensitivity and your aiming is going to be a lot more improved as you start out in Tarkov if you're running the exact same gear sets so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if any of these type five tips have helped you at all we're gonna be doing a lot more of these videos over the next month and dropping a lot of different tips in regards to inventory management, how to loot bodies quicker, things like that. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because it is free and it helps a lot. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.